Introduction Everything in this universe is made up of a material which scientists have named matter. The air we breathe, the food we eat, stoves, clouds, stars, plants and animals, even a small drop of water or a particle of sand, each thing is matter. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to understand types of matter, identify states of matter, how the state of matter can be changed by changing temperature or pressure, learn about sublimation and evaporation process by different activities. Physical nature of matter Matter is made up of different particles called molecules. For example, sand is made up of sand particles. Characteristics of particles of matter Particles of matter have enough space. When we make tea, coffee particles of one type of matter get into the spaces between particles of the other. Particles of matters are continuous moving. Particles of copper sulfate are continuously moving and dissolve in water to form blue color solution. Particles of matters attract each other. Iron nail cannot break by hammering, cutting or stretching. Types of matter Matters are of three types. Solid, liquid, gas. Solids have fixed shape and volume. Liquids have no fixed shape but have fixed volume. Liquid flow and change shape. Gases have no fixed shape and volume. These are highly compressible as compared to solids and liquids. Assessment Before proceeding further, let us know how much you have learned. The effect of temperature Let us know that what will be the effect of temperature on solid, liquid and gas. On increasing the temperature, the kinetic energy increases. Solid converts into liquid fusion and liquid converts into gas vaporization by increasing the temperature gas liquid and solid reformed by cooling or lowering the temperature Kelvin is the SI unit of temperature the effect of pressure the effect of pressure on solid liquid and gas phases has remarkable effect Gas can be converted into liquid phase by increasing the pressure. The process is known as condensation. Liquid can be converted into solid phase by increasing the pressure. The process is known as sublimation. These phases reconverted by cooling or lowering the temperature. Did you know? There are a total of seven states of matter in the universe. The fourth state of matter above gas is plasma. Plasma is ionized gas. It is gas that is superheated to the point some of its electrons break away from their nuclei and join other nuclei. Stars are made of plasma. Fire is plasma. The fifth state of matter above plasma is beam. The difference between beam and the other four states is that the particles of solid, liquid, gas and plasma all move randomly in all directions whereas the particles of beam move harmoniously in one direction. Other than these five states of matter, there is a state lower than all these states. It is the zero state of matter. The zero state of matter is known as the BEC a Bose-Einstein condensate. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Matter is made up of small particles. The matter around us exists in three states, solid, liquid and gas. The forces of attraction between the particles are maximum in solids, intermediate in liquids and minimum in gases. The spaces in between the particles are minimum in the case of solids, intermediate in liquids and maximum in gases. The states of matter are interconvertible 
and can be changed by changing temperature and pressure. Sublimation is the change of gaseous state directly to solid state without going through liquid state and vice versa. Particles of the liquid change into vapor state called boiling. The rate of evaporation depends upon the surface area exposed to the atmosphere, the temperature, the humidity and the wind speed. Latent heat of vaporization is the heat energy required to change one kilogram of a liquid to gas at atmospheric pressure at its boiling point. Latent heat of fusion is the amount of heat energy required to change one kilogram of solid into liquid at its melting point.